Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the radio buttons available on different websites using Selenium web driver. So let's begin. Let's understand about the functionality of radio buttons and then we will see how we can automate those buttons. For that, I would be using this website. This is a demo website and we need to copy this URL and let's go to the browser here and paste this URL. So this is basically a practice form and you can practice your Selenium here as well. So this is uh, basically a student registration form and it contains multiple fields like name, email, gender, date of birth, subjects, hobbies, pictures, current address and user can also select a picture from here. And if you go to this gender option, so this is basically a radio button. So radio buttons have a multiple options and from multiple options you can select only one option unlike with the check boxes where you can check the multiple options here you can only select one option so i can select either this one this one or this one now let's uh, try to automate this one let me copy this url from here and let's go to the eclipse here now uh, what i need to do is that i would be creating a new class here against the package we were using which were automation scripts and let me create a new class let me name it as automating radio button we need to select the main method here click on finish here and before we start automating this radio button let me copy some initial code from our previous example so let me copy this field as from here let me paste it here and first we need to provide the url so let me copy this url from here and let's go back to the eclipse and here in eclipse we need to provide the url so once you will hit this url it will take us to this particular demo website right now the first thing we need to do is that we need to identify this element right for that let me open this url in the chrome browser so let me copy this one because we have the selector sub extension here so let me right click on this radio button so we need to select this meal option so we need to be very careful while inspecting the elements okay so inspect this one and need to go to selector sub and we need to select whatever we want uh, but we need to ensure that it should be one here because it should be unique in this case so let me copy this relative x path from here and let's go back here and let me type driver dot find element by dot x path and against the x path i need to provide this one right and before we can perform any kind of action on this one what we can do is that we can save this into the web element web element and i'm naming it as radio button okay now this value is being saved against this one this is a variable name and now we need to import this web element here so once uh, you have identified the radio option or the button you want to click, you need to perform some action, right? So I need to use this radio button, right, dot. So here you can see that we have a multiple options like equals, click, right? Get the size, get text, get take name, and we have few more options like either this particular option is displayed enable select so the important thing is that we need to click on this one so that we can you know select this option from here so simply press dot and then click right and let me save this one now let's run this and see what happens and it will open this particular form here and after opening the form it will 
select so mail is not selected yet and now it got selected so let me close on this one and let me go here so in the similar way what I can do is that radio button dot is displayed so I can check this thing either this radio options are displayed then we can also check radio button dot is enabled then we can also check here radio button dot is selected and let's explore more options let me go here radio button dot and let's get the name of this option because we might need to verify that mail is present or not so in this case what I can do is that get text and let me put this into the system dot out dot print ln and in print ln we need to provide this one so here let I miss the M from the system here and let's save this one and let's run this one and see what happens now we will get the name of this radio button or option so it will get checked here yes it got checked successfully and let's go to the eclipse here and you can see the mail is present now let's uh, use some more methods here and see how we can use them simply let me copy this one from here and it's radio button dot then we have one more thing called get attribute and if I go here and if you can see that this particular element has multiple attributes like class x path right so if you want to ensure that this the class is correctly implemented here this class is custom control label should be implemented here so we need to get this one and we can assert this one so let me go back here and in Eclipse what we need to do is that get attribute and the attribute is basically what we are looking for is class right this is the attribute we are looking for and that's we are done now let's put this whole thing into system dot out dot print ln and let me run from here and here radio button dot get attribute and the attribute is class so let me reconfirm the class is with small c so that's it and let's do some more method here and here let me type radio button dot get and you can get let's do with the tag name here and if I go here and see tag name here is label right so let me go here and this is the tag name and this is a simple thing where we don't need to provide any input under the brackets so let me type system dot out dot print ln and under the print ln we need to put this one right so now uh, let's run this and see what happens right? and we will get all the details from here and it will check this one first right and now if I go to Eclipse here so here uh, we got the mail through the get text then we got the class this is a class and then we got the tag so you can verify all these things right now uh, using if else but later on we will learn about the proper assertions 
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. We hope that you have learned something today. Thank you once again, and see you in the next tutorial.